When you add 3 and 2, you will get 5. But adding 2 and 3, it will also give you 5. What? Are you confused why addition gives the same answer? Now come and join me as we explore the world of addition! Bring that ass back like a boom 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 boom. Oh, there you are, kids. It's been a long time since we last see each other. What? And for this episode, we have a very special international guest. That is why I'm practicing my greetings. Does that sound okay? Okay, good. Now, our guest today is Sinta Dewi Rahayu from Central Java, Indonesia. And she studies guidance and counseling program. Now, I know that she loves inasal na manok with unlimited rice, of course, and gulaman. You cannot find gulaman there in Indonesia, right? And I hope I can send food to you there in Indonesia, Teacher Sinta. So, what are we waiting for? Let's meet her now. Hello! It's a great to see you today. I'm so happy that you invited me in this fun and learning vlog. Oh, for kids who do not know me yet, I'm teacher Sinta Dewi Rahayu from Indonesia. But you can call me teacher Sinta. Today, we will have fun learning mathematics. I will help you kids if you will listen very careful. Are you ready kids? Yeah! Very good! Now teacher Sinta, for this episode, together with our kids, we will try to explore the world of addition. Yes teacher Danny, you are right. Following rules will guide us to do things right. Like in adding number, there are also rules we need to remember to help us do addition fast and correctly. That is right, Teacher Sinta. By following rules, we can learn addition fast and accurately. The rules will guide in order to master addition. We must know the properties of addition. This will help us add numbers quickly. Alright, Teacher Sinta. This kid seems ready to follow the properties of addition. We may now start. Do you know the terms used for the numbers in an addition? The numbers that we add are called add-ins. And the answer we get after adding the numbers is called sum. Here, 235 and 341 are add-ins. And 576 is the sum. May I know your two favorite number? Me? <laughs> okay, let me think. My favorite numbers are four and six. <laughs> if we add teacher Danny's favorite number four and six, we will have ten. Four in your finger and six more, we have ten. Good! But, what if we count the 6 first before the number 4? What do you think will be the sum? Teacher Denny, can you try adding the 6 and 4? Alright, so if we will add... Um, what's that again? <laughs> Alright, so if we will add 6 and 4, we will have... The kids have been counting. We have 6. And then we add 1, 2, 3, 4. How many is this? Teacher Sinta, we also have 10. 
carrot. We will get a 10 also because that is the order property of addition. Order property of addition. Let us take the numbers 182 and 316. When we add 182 and 316, we get the sum 498. Now, let us change the order of add-ends. Let us add 316 and 182. Again, we get the sum 498. Hence, 182 plus 316 is equal to 316 plus 182. Thus, we know that changing the order of the addends does not change the sum. We can say addition is commutative. Well done! I have her another problem. As her a bag with cookies of different colors. Oh, I love cookies, teacher Sinta. That will match with my very hot coffee. <laughs> Let's count all the red cookies first. One, two, three. Next, let's count the brown. One, two. Now, let's count the pink. One, two, three. So, again, we have three red cookies and two brown cookies. Three plus two is five. Then, let's add the pink. Three plus two plus three pink cookies. We have eight cookies in all. Teacher Danny, can you call them also by trying with pink, then brown, then the red? Alright, teacher. Now, children, help me in counting these cookies. So, we start first with the pink. So, one, two, and three. And then the brown one. So, one, two. So, three and two will become five. Then if we add three more with red, so one, two, three. So that is five plus three. We also have eight cookies in all. Do not forget that you get the sum, sum even if the grouping are changed. This is the grouping property of addition. Grouping property of addition. Look at the numbers. 40. 50 and 20. Let us add them. First, we will add the numbers 40 and 50. We get the sum 90. Now, we add 20 to 90 and get the final answer 110. Now, let us see what answer we will get if we add 50 and 20 first. We get 50 plus 20 equal to 70. And 40 plus 70 gives the final answer 110. Thus, when adding three numbers, we can add any two numbers first. We say addition is associative. What do we call it again? Good job! Great job! That was challenging, teacher. Now, what if we add nothing or zero to number, teacher Danny? Can you add this number with zero? Hmm. Six plus zero is six. And seven plus zero is seven. And 11 plus 0 is also 11. Alright! Nothing is changed because this is zero property of addition. 
zero property of addition. Let us take the numbers 315 and zero. If we add 315 to zero, we get the sum 315. And even if we add zero to 315, we get the sum 315. This tells us that when zero is one of the two addends, then the sum is equal to the non-zero addend. Ah, that was cool, Teacher Sinta. Very good, children. You are listening attentively. Now it's time for you to add this number. Let's go! And now teacher Simba said this for us. Now it's time to get your notebook and your pens and let's start adding. Now comment down below after you answered every question. Is that okay? So let's go! Jenny and kids, while waiting, would you like to see a traditional dancing from Indonesia? Say a louder, kids. Yes, please. We interrupt this program to bring you. Uh, good job. I want to present that the traditional dancing from the Central Java. The name is. Tarian Chuble Chuble Suang and I want to show you the miracle. Give me <laughs> Sorry kids. Okay, I need the first is clouds. The name cloth clouds is Kubaya. And the next I need the I need the skirt. The name is Jari or the skirt with the motif batik. And the next, I need selempang for the tarian cuble cuble suang. Okay, yes, selempang. Uh, that was so easy. You might try dancing too. Sayo, sayo, sayo!
one of the traditional dancing in Indonesia, especially in Central Java. And Mami Salamat for liking our dance. And the next we want to listen. We now join the following program already in progress here on the network. That was fun and easy to learn, Teacher Sinta. Thank you very much. And we truly appreciate your kindness and your effort to be with us here in the Philippines. Thank you, Teacher Danny, for inviting me here in your fun, the learning vlog. I really miss the Philippines and I want to go there now. I have, I can see you soon. But for now, I have to say goodbye. Goodbye, also kids. It's a wonderful day learning with you. Bye-bye. Although you are in another country, you still manage to be with us. Thank you very much. Bye. Goodbye, Teacher Sinta. Maraming maraming salamat. And kids, do not forget the addition properties that Teacher Sinta taught you. But I have to leave you now. But I promise you another fun-filled learning and adventure in our next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share what you've learned today. Bye-bye!